Hello everyone and welcome to the PC Michigan Tech Help Show. Technosis Craig Chamberlain here and I'm happy to debut the new free software series where I show you sweet free software that's available on the internet to do all sorts of fun things. Today we're going to talk about an antivirus, but basically all this software is going to be available at my website, pcmichiana.com. There'll be a link in the sidebar. And all you need to do is go to the download section. And the first piece of software we're going to talk about is Avist Home Edition. A, they just recently released a new version of this, so for those of you who are running the ugly blue interface version, strongly suggest you upgrade to this one. So just go ahead and click on the link, and it'll bring you to download.com where you can download it. After you've downloaded, just select it to open it up, and then obviously you want to select Run. You can participate in the Avist community if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'm going to select Next. And installation progress, it's going to go ahead and create a system restore point and run the installation. Now after the installation is complete, it'll say set up finish, yay, 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 and then click Virus finish. Database has been updated. <laughs> and it talks to you, just like the other one, but it's got a nicer voice, doesn't sound like a robot. Of course, the little bubbles going to show up down here. They changed their icon and their look, which I'm very happy that they did because their old look and icon were horrible looking. So then you just double click on the interface down here, and they got this awesome new silent and gaming mode. If you turn it on, it'll literally drop the memory and processor usage almost to a negligible amount. Now, of course, you won't get as good a protection when you're in this mode, but hey, man, when you're playing games, you don't really want to worry about the real-time protection nearly as much. It's actually really, really impressive how little resources this uses up. And once you've turned it on, if you restart your computer, it'll stay on. And then it works like any other antivirus now. See, it's a good-looking antivirus. You just click uh, Real-Time Shields, and you can check your Real-Time Shields. It'll show what they're scanning and how often they're scanning them. Uh, you can check your Mail, Web, Peer-to-Peer -peer Network, and uh, IM, Network, and Behavior Shield, which is all the shields that were available in the previous version, but now you just got a much nicer way of looking over it. You can scan your computer by selecting it and doing a quick scan and collecting Start, or do a full system scan, removable media. You know, it's just like a standard antivirus now. As many of you may know, the reason I didn't recommend Avis before was because the interface was really, 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 really awful looking. This has all but eliminated it. And best of all, for personal use, it is absolutely free. So this is, an, this is hands down the best one as far as ratings are concerned and uh, detection rates and, and blocking things as out right now compared to AVG Free and Avira as far as free software tools is concerned. It's a strong recommendation for those of you who don't have an antivirus yet. And remember, only install one antivirus at any given time. But that's all there is for this episode. Check out Addis Free Antivirus. It's the best out there. If you have AVG or Virus still, uninstall it and give this one a try because that's what this series is all about, checking out awesome free software tools that are available to you. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and ratings, and don't forget to subscribe.